In this video, I'll show you how you can use the tagging options and all the other possibilities here to your advantage. In our settings, everything is disabled. I showed you the video before, so nothing happens automatically and you see only the function it Self. I won't go through every single function here because there are so many options you can use. There is always an information icon. You can see everything explained and in general it should be very self-explaining. So we begin here on top, the tagging options. These are the same for every window, no matter if global with Spreadshirt, Repubble, public, and so on. The MBA window, merged by Amazon specific or displayed. So the most important one probably in the beginning, the upload batch. You write to your listings, you prepare them, that's great. But of course you want to upload them also automatically with flying upload. So simply click here on upload batch and then a zip file, a local one will be generated for all designs you have currently here in the edit window with the image file, of course, the PNG and also a local XML file where your listing data is stored. So this is the zip, simply click on extract all and then you have here the PNG as I said and also the XML file with the listing data. And then you can open the local launcher, you can download here and then we have here the POD upload, we can go to the edit, select the designs that you want and simply drag and drop them in. And then you have them here. Of course, you can do here the trademark check. This will be available soon also in the new edit window, the trademark check. And then you can yeah check here again if you want or simply upload them to the platform you want. For you, important to know is that the upload flags where your design is already uploaded will be automatically marked and transferred here in the design management for your design. So if you work with the design management and you don't need the local data after the upload anymore, you can simply delete it. And yeah, this is what you have to know here. Then undo, redo, very self-explaining, one step back, one step forward, copy listing from, we have marked this design. And then when you click this, you can transfer the data, for example, from the fifth design to the current one when you click apply. Apply listing two is exactly the same, just the other way around. So the design you're currently on, the first one, you can transfer the data to all the other designs in the edit you select. Copy previous, also very self-explaining. I'll show you when I clear this listing here, so it's empty, and then I do the copy previous one, it will transfer all the data from the previous, the one above. Bulk copy listing also transfers the data from one design to all the others. Clear the listing, we also saw that a moment ago, it makes the listing empty. Delete means it removes them here from the edit window. You can also click this remove design here. It will be removed from the edit, but it will still be in the design management. And yeah, and these are some sorting options, remove with listing, empty listing, and so on. You can try this yourself. And of course, the functionalities you use most, you can use the shortcut here, or also you can pin it here, and you don't have to open all the time these tagging options. Then we go to the yeah, window specific data. Something you will probably use very often is the translate button. You can configure also here your settings. Usually it, uh, it takes always the main language it translates from. So in this case, the English one, but you can also use the yeah, other languages if you want to. Then you can translate all listings if you want to. So it will translate all the listings you have here in the edit. Title uppercase, that everything is uppercase like here. Shuffle keywords, that's very cool and powerful. If you have a scale designs with the same keywords, for example, then you can simply shuffle the keywords and bring a bit variation in it. And then of course you can decide what should be translated. For example, you never wanna have the title translated. It's probably more in the MBA window for the brand, but 
then you can simply deselect it here. But we want to have translated all. And then, for example, we go to the German one, translate from English, and then the language will be translated. And of course, you can do this for the other ones. Or if you're on the domain language, translate to all, then it will translate all here at once. Okay, then we have here the options for the text fields. It's very individual, I think. Some use it, others don't. You can check it out yourself, I think, before I go here over every option and make the <laughs> video unnecessary long. Um, maybe what you have to know is here the keyboard window that you have, for example, here a tag generator. So tag the main keyword, then use the tag generator, and then it will generate other uh, keywords for you as well. Be careful if you generate something, please check it again. Not that a keyword is in that you won't like. And of course, you can also use the keyword finder when you, when we have, so for example, want to have suggestions for Irish, then simply click on search and then you can select the ones you hear. Just click on it and it will be automatically added. And then you can click apply and then it will also be here. And of course, what you can also do here, for example, is shuffle the keywords to bring a bit variation. Yeah, and then the options, of course, you can tag them. Here are the little ones, but you can find this out yourself. Then we go for the people who just work with MBA, of course, to the MBA window. And you see, you can configure here also everything. So when you go here to the options, you can copy product data from one product to the others. Um, try it yourself, what you need. And also, for example, the colors, if you don't want to select them manually, you simply can click on select darker colors, select light colors and so on. So all you want to have also for the marketplaces, you can, for example, click the first one and then enter the price you want to have here or simply enter the first one and then go to first to all. And then it will enable all the other marketplaces with the same price. Of course, it's the minimum price. So it will enable also the minimum price for the others. And for the Japanese marketplace, it will automatically convert into the right currency. And yeah, so you have here all the options so that you don't have to set the colors manual all the time, the marketplace or prices every time. So you do it once and then you transfer it simply to the others. You have also here always the preview. Where you can select the color or whatever you want and click on it. And then you can see it, how it looks on the MBA product. Of course, this also works for all the other ones and pop sockets and phone cases will also be converted automatically during the upload. So you don't need an extra image size for the phone case, for example, or for the pop socket, your t-shirt design is enough. Yeah. And then these are the options you already know from the normal edit window. You can enable auto translate. You can also translate it yourself. Here is also the brand. Maybe you won't translate that then simply disable it when you translate here. And what you can also here do, and I think many will use this one. When you have no description, you can simply go here and description from MBA listing. And it will, sorry, <laughs> and it will generate you one from the brand's title and also the bullet points. So then it's already set up and you can also upload. Here are the other options. And yeah, I think you, <laughs> I talked much, but it's also here many, many things to explore. And I think you have now a first preview, how it works and what can work. What you shouldn't do is enable every produ product manually, select every um, color manually. Of course, you have to do it maybe one time, but for the other designs and so on. Use these options, pin the options you wanna have and use them again. Use also shortcuts to make yourself faster and you will see that after a few times you edit your designs, you will get much faster, you can copy faster 
and you write listings with all the possibilities here with a speed you yeah, never had before. And I think in the next video I will show you also a little work case or a workflow, let's say it like that, how it all works and then yeah, I see you soon.